Friends, we're assembled here together in the presence of God to join Chad and Danielle in holy marriage. I want you to stand and face your friends and family side by side. Because the first thing that Solomon says is that sometimes you will stumble in life. And if you have somebody next to you, they can give you a hand. They can lift you up. Because that's what's going to happen. There's going to be a day or two where one of you is going to have a bad day. And in those times, you need the other person to help you up. And God is calling you to so care for each other that you love each other unconditionally, that you're there for each other when one falls, the other's there to lift them up. This has been a wonderful, wonderful day and beautiful ceremony. I hope everybody has enjoyed themselves as much today as I have. On a more serious note, it's been a challenging year for all of us uh, with just all the stuff we've experienced this year. And while we're all dealing with all that, these two decide to grow closer to the Lord and reinvent their relationship and build it on a rock foundation so that when they did get married, it's going to last forever. Danielle is by far one of the most authentic people I have ever met in my life. She is just honestly present. If you're talking to her, her heart's with you. She's there as not just a friend to go through the motions with, but a friend to go through life with. And I'm just so grateful. Now I'm going to start crying. <laughs> She is amazing, and Chad, you are amazing for her. I love, I love the two of them together. They are so balanced, they are so honest, and as they continue to seek the Lord, they're both just growing in this amazing direction, and I'm just honored to be in your lives. So I've known Chad basically all my life. Um, <laughs> A lot of times when we were growing up that we definitely got in each other's nerves and uh, you know there was always a part of me that always wanted to be just like him. I think that's becoming all the more true now because I've seen just how amazing you've been growing. We haven't always been this close but I can honestly say uh, I like the man that sits before me today and I'm proud to call you my brother. I just want to say thank you all so much. You guys have, like, the ones that are now my family, the new family, have welcomed me. And I love you guys, like, I love you guys so much. And thank you for being there for Chad and I and mom and dad. You guys, best parents in the youth, like, ever. <laughs> I, I seriously cannot wait for the future. I can't wait for all the traditions that we're building in Minnesota and the time spent in Arizona. All this is with Chad, who I think all of you know is so amazing and loves me like how any girl would want to be loved. So, so thankful for everyone and being a part of this day. This is so much more beautiful and more amazing than I ever could have thought of. So thank you guys so much. Hi Chad, thank you Danielle to be my wedded wife. I, Danielle, take you, Chad, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better or for worse, 
for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to share, till death parts us. Because Chad and Danielle have pledged their faith each to the other by the joining of hands, the exchange of vows, and the receiving of rings, I pronounce they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together today, let no one tear apart. Chad, you may kiss your bride.